welcome to the Zero Fucks Given Show. Welcome back, my dear friends. As the name is indicating so lovely, we don't get many fucks in here. Now, guys, listen up. It's time for a bit more extended fast. This time a seven day water fast. As you know, I'm doing a little mini fast every month, like a two to three day dry fast or a three to five days water fast. And every quarter I try to smash in a seven day water fast. Now it's time for a longer fast, a seven day fast again. And today, obviously, we're going to talk about day one. Day one of my seven day water fast. Now, guys, don't worry about the hard dry part here. It's a water fast day one and I put that back now so you're not getting confused. Uh, as you know I prefer dry fasting over water fasting because I get more bang for my bucks. It's easy as it is guys. Now quickly when I give you an update on my day one of my seven day water fast. Day one was pretty awesome. I had a nice workout, uh, a sauna session of 15 minutes and a five minute cold shower and a nice nice uh, run, a morning run in the park. So quite active and um, but I haven't told you yet actually every day is a little mini dry fast for myself as well because I have decided to reduce my water intake to two hours. So that means I'm dry for 22 hours every day and I consume about about one and a half liters 1.4, 1.5, 1.6 uh, every day. Yeah, in that in that time frame, in that window, that time, that two hour uh, time window. So I have done that. Obviously, I had my uh, one and a half liters of water. I had a nice workout in the gym, a sauna session, a, cold, a nice cold five minute shower, and I feel amazing. I lost one kilo so far, guys. And uh, look, the first day is obviously quite easy, especially for someone like me where I live on one meal a day on the OMAD diet, on the OMAD diet. And that means I only eat one meal a day and I consume all my calories usually within about one or two hours every day. Anyway, so that's not really a big stretch yet, but it will come guys. But look, uh, first things first, first day <laughs> is in the books, um, forever done and dusted guys. But that's just to say, I feel amazing. Obviously, I've worked the whole day. Uh, when I water fast, I don't change anything. I work full day, I train every day. Of course, the training gets a little hard later on. You can feel, you know, you can see you, you, you're kind of doing the work. The body's doing the work when you water fast. But yeah, that's day one. Day one of my seven day water fast. Peace out, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my new update on my seven day water fast. Peace out. Bing. Welcome back my dear friends. Welcome back to the Zero Facts Given Show. As the name is indicating so nicely, we don't give many facts here. We only give facts about meaningful stuff such as fasting. Now, this is obviously day two of my seven day water fast. I'll give you a quick update uh, how things went, right? Now on the, se on the second day I lost one and a half kilos. Um, surprising, I know. I had my 22 hour um, dry fast and I consumed all the water in a two hour time window. Uh, one, 1 1.6 liters today. So pretty good, weight is good. I slept amazing, I worked all day, I had a workout. Uh, and a sauna session today I went uh, 20 minutes in the sauna and then I had a nice cold shower and I went again but then I could feel after five minutes uh, I was time to go out to get out of there you know like it's uh, uh, it was simply enough because obviously I sweat a lot uh, when you're in the sauna and I only put uh, one and a half liters back in so the dry fasting part is definitely a significant uh, part of my seven day uh, water fast. But that's just to say guys, I think I touched on everything, uh, just uh, to get a visual, a visual um, it's going to be day two of my not hard dry fast, like last time it's going to be day two of my seven day water fast guys. I know you know it as well, 
Uh, I prefer dry fast or water fast because I get more bang for my bucks. The ratio is about three to one. So, uh, you know, one day of dry fasting equals three days of water fasting. So when I did my crazy nine day hard dry fast three months ago in the middle of summer here in Sydney in Australia where we had 40 degrees, that usually equals about almost 40 days of water fasting. So nine days, 10 days uh, dry fasting equal about 40 days of water fasting. Now guys, I'm still happy. I had a great time um, training, sauna, work full day. Feel amazing guys, just wanna give you a quick update how easy it actually is to, to commit to a, a five or seven day fast where you don't have to change anything. You can work, you do all your housework, your homework, your gym work, your office work, everything is, is, is relatively easy to, uh, you know, to do actually when you, when you fast on water. Dry fasting is definitely a little harder. You probably start feeling a bit more uh, fatigued and dizzy from day four onwards. But when you, you know, when you water fast, that's actually not the case. So yes, like, thanks guys for being with me. I see you guys tomorrow for day three of my seven day water fast. Bing! Welcome to Zero Fucks Given Show. As the name is indicating so nicely, we don't give many fucks in here. We only give fucks about meaningful stuff such as health, longevity, disease prevention, all those good things, right? Looking after friends and family, but not about meaningless shit, you know, with all the stuff that's going on clutter in our, in our lives and in our world, guys. Now, day three of my seven day water fast is done and dusted, guys. I lost another kilo. I went to the gym as I usually do, had a nice workout, then 15 minutes in the sauna, and then five minutes, a five minutes cold shower after that. So that's all done. I had a nice morning walk in the park, a nice wisdom walk in nature. Um, obviously, I usually take my shoes off, so I go barefoot, and um, which is so important as well, guys, but that's a, it's a topic for another zero fucks given show another day. Now, I consumed my 1.5 liters of water in a time window of two hours. So I had like a, a, a 22 hour dry fast again. Um, so it's like a little mini fast, a little mini dry fast in my water fast. Yes guys, so I touched on the weight, I, touched, I slept very well guys, I feel amazing. I worked the whole day and um, there is literally zero Zero negative, zero downside, guys. Fasting is free, fasting is effective, it saves you a ton of time, it saves you money, it saves you money, it saves you, uh, you know, a lot of hassle because you don't have to cook, you don't have to uh, prepare food, you don't have to shop for food, you don't have to eat, you don't have to clean dishes afterwards. So you save time, you save money, you heal your body, you give your body a nice rest, a nice little cleansing. Uh, a pleasurable experience and um, yeah guys so day three done and dusted guys and I see you guys tomorrow for day four of my seven day water fast peace out guys Beep, beep, beep. welcome back guys welcome back to the zero fucks given show as the name is indicating so lovely we don't get many fucks in here we do give many facts about meaningful stuff which is enhancing our lives, it's good for our families, right? Like health enhancing procedures such as fasting. So today is my day four of my seven day water fast. Um, and I give you a quick visual about that as well. Day three, right? My seven day Sorry guys. Day four. I messed it up guys. Day four of my seven day waterfall. Welcome back, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Zero Fucks Given Show. As you all know, we don't give many fucks in here. We do give a lot of fucks about meaningful stuff, such as health enhancing procedures named fasting. Today is day four of my seven day water fast. I feel amazing guys. I lost another kilo. I had a nice workout in the gym, uh, 15 minutes in the sauna after that, then a five minutes cold shower. 
in the morning had a nice run in the park about uh, five k's in in half an hour so that's about you know a, a good pace that means it's about uh, 10k's in an hour would be a marathon pace of four hours ish right so not too bad especially especially considering i haven't eaten for four days but that shows you again you can pretty much do anything when you water fast it's it's not a big issue guys you you're still strong you're still you still fit you know you're able to do a lot of things you would never think you can do without having eaten for four days yeah i told you i lost another kilo i feel amazing guys i slept well so that's pretty much the update on day four of my seven day water fast guys please stay tuned for tomorrow day five of my seven day water fast peace out see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching Welcome back, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Zero Fucks Given Show. As you all know, we don't give many fucks in here, but we do get a lot of fucks about health, longevity, well-being, anti-aging, all those good things in life, right? We don't give fuck about meaningless shit, and I'll talk about that later in a different show. Today is day five of my seven-day water fast. I feel amazing, guys. I lost 1.5 kilos this time. Um, I had a nice workout in the gym, then 15 minutes in the sauna and 6 minutes uh, a cold shower. Uh, nice, nice little 6 minute cold shower and I feel amazing guys. Uh, today I had only uh, 16 hours dry fast um, because of the time, sometimes with work and stuff so I don't really you know, I'm not really uh, particular, messed up about, it has to be 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock. You live your life, you do your stuff, guys, right? I just put that extra dry fasting pressure on myself because water fasting is, water fasting is relatively easy for me, guys. Now, so obviously I had only 16 hours, but tomorrow I will have uh, 27 hours then because it shuffles all back. So that means tomorrow I'm going to have a whole day of dry fasting included in my water fasting on day 6. Now guys, I touched on the weight, I slept very well, I felt very well, um, yeah, yeah, pretty much day five was awesome. What I noticed today, uh, I had like obviously a lot of stress, I went to the gym and I did, uh, yesterday I did pull-ups, today I did dips and stuff and um, so I really rushed it because I was in a hurry and then I went to the sauna, in the sauna I just didn't sit. I actually did my stretchings and stuff and uh, so that's obviously a little bit harder. Then I could feel in the shower I was a little dizzy. Um, so take it easy if you do that. Day five already now it starts progressing where it gets onto you a little bit in regards to uh, harder exercise and you know ramping up your heart rate and stuff like that. Otherwise guys that was day five of my seven day water fast and I see you guys tomorrow on day six of my amazing seven day water fast. Please, please guys, subscribe, like and share. Thank you so, so much for watching and I see you guys tomorrow for another Zero Facts Given show. Beep, 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 beep. Welcome back guys, welcome back to the famous and legendary Zero Facts Given show. As you all know and as the name is indicating so nicely, we don't get many facts in here. Especially not about meaningless shit. We do get a lot of facts about meaningful stuff such as your health. Now, this is day six of my seven day water fast and I give you a quick update how I went. So I lost another kilo. I obviously, as I told you yesterday, I'm gonna be, I had like a, a 27 hours dry fast because obviously I had my two, my two hour window moved back to the normal time where I started my fast. Um, and uh, so I had a nice dry fasting experience in that, um, what can I say, the sauna was obviously a little bit harder, uh, usually what I didn't tell you guys, I actually try to have my training and my sauna session uh, before I have my, my one and a half liters of water, so that's what I did usually on, on all those days except one I had a little sip before and then, and then after because I was so dry. But yeah, so I train and sauna pretty much dry fasted. Then I have that two hours where I refill and I pump in like uh, in little sips, one and a half liters, 1.6, 1.7. It doesn't really matter, guys. It's not really a number. I just, just give you an approximate um, 
you know, update on what I had today. I slept very well. I had a nice walk in the, in the park in the morning, an hour walk, uh, a wisdom walk. I love that, you know, taking my shoes off and my shirt. And even it's now winter here in Australia and we have temperatures outside probably about uh, 10, 11 degrees. Inside the house we have now 13, 14 degrees. So it's quite fresh in here. I can feel, I can feel the cold. So yeah guys, that's pretty much my day six. It was an amazing experience again. I uh, obviously have to put another disclaimer in today here. Please do not try this on your own. Always consult with your health professional. Uh, seek assistance and, and support guys. I have done a bit of fasting before. So I obviously pretty much run my normal schedule, my normal protocol everything uh, like I do usually I work hard every day I do my workout I do my my run or walk in the morning or if I can't do the morning I do it at least at night then but uh, yeah I go in the sauna I usually hit the sauna every day and I take every day a five minute cold shower uh, that's a must and I have done so for a year now and I feel amazing guys what can I say please tune on tune in uh, tune in tomorrow guys uh, for my day seven of my seven day water fast so i give you the last update how much i lost and how much i lost in total uh and as you can see i'm quite energetic i'm feeling good i didn't back off with work at all so i worked the whole day today was a long day for me a 12 hour working day i have so much stuff on my desk and run around and stuff so you really you really can do on water fasting you can do a lot more than you do on dry fasting dry fasting really kind of after day four it hits you and day five it gets harder and harder so um but when you water fast that's all zero problem zero guys thank you so so much for watching please like subscribe and share i see you guys tomorrow for day seven of my seven day water fast <laughs> welcome to the zero fucks given show as you guys know we don't give many Facts here. We do give a lot of facts about meaningful stuff such as fasting, health, well being, longevity. We don't give any facts, zero, about meaningless shit, all the clutter in our world, all this busyness and bitchiness and, you know, and sadness and worry about stuff that's never gonna happen. So we actually, as I said, we follow the zero facts given policy. Now guys, I just got back from the gym and I feel amazing. I want to give you uh, a last update on my seven day water fast. Yoo-hoo! Seven days, guys. Let's have a look how seven days look. Seven day seven of my seven day water fast, guys. What an experience, another fast done and dusted in the books forever. And as I said, I feel on top of the roof. I give you a quick rundown now what I have done in those seven days. I sum it up for you so you can actually, uh, you know, maybe consider one day to uh, do a bit of fasting yourself. But before we do it, I want to have a quick uh, celebration dance with you that I made it through another seven day fast. Let's do it, guys! Amazing dancing presentation. I'm gonna jam in a lot of food, guys. Woo! Now, guys, back. Woo! Back to the schedule. So, seven days water fasting. Pretty easy, actually. Pretty easy. Zero symptoms, zero 
negative uh, feelings, emotions, experiences. If I compare this to my nine day hard dry fast I did three months ago in the middle of the summer, 40 degrees outside, well, that was a lot harder. Yeah? So hard dry fast means no water, no food, and no contact with water. So when I now water fast, as I did now for seven days, that feels relatively easy, guys. So I went to the gym every single day. Nice little workout, didn't, you know, didn't crash the bank or something, but a good workout. I did a lot of say, push ups, pull ups, uh, dips, uh, a bit of stuff, squats, and lunches, and kettlebells, and all the stuff, rope climbing, gymnastic rings. I love those rings. So every day a workout. After the workout, every day a 15 minute sauna session. One day I did 20, but all the other days it was uh, 15 minutes. After those 50, ah, in, in, that, <laughs> in that time, I always hype up the sauna like crazy. So it gets hotter and hotter, uh, because I like it hot. I like to really uh, have a high impact in and get those heat choke proteins all moving through my body. So I really make it as hot as possible in the sauna. Uh, in a steam sauna, I just you know jam up the sensor and in, in, a, in a normal dry sauna, obviously, I put water on the rocks. And I have some nice essential oils always, some peppermint and bergamot and lavender and tea tree and eucalyptus. Yeah, so I really like that. So that's obviously the procedure. So the first 10 minutes, I actually stood up every day. I stood up, which is the hottest part because you, your head is closer to the ceiling, where it is the hottest, right? That's obviously the hottest part in the sauna. So I, I always uh, committed, uh, my, uh, com committed to the um, procedure to uh, uh, stand up for 10 minutes, which is harder as well because sitting always is easier. And then in the last five minutes, I did my stretches, right? Stretch here, stretch here, head, neck, and shoulders, and, <laughs> and twist, and all those things, right? You can do in the sauna. And then I went uh, straight away to uh, you know enjoy a five minute, five to six minutes actually uh, cold shower. So a couple of days I had five minutes, a couple of days I actually uh, put a one, one minute on top and did six. So. Now that was obviously my, my evening routine after work. Before work I had usually uh, either a walk in the park or a run. So pretty much almost alternating uh, seven days. I did, uh, actually that's not true. I did five days a run and two days a walk. Now, whew, considering seven days fasted, you wouldn't believe that's possible. Now, today I'll tell you about my, my, my little workout I just, I just smashed in. Uh, before I come here to tell you all this stuff. So um, I put actually the last workout, uh, day seven fasted workout, so seven days fasted workout, I put that actually uh, right behind this clip here so you can actually watch it straight away. Um, so I, did, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put all the stuff in there, right? It's uh, obviously too much, but I'll show you, for instance, like I did on day seven, uh, 10 correct uh, pull-ups, uh, was it 35 or 40 uh, dips in one set? So that's kind of a relatively significant uh, number. That had a lot of kettlebell work, uh, pushing the sled, and you know the battle ropes and stuff. So I put uh, little glances and bozu and burpees and uh, you know wow, well, that was a full-on workout, guys, on day seven. So I show you um, you know bits and glances. Uh, it is obviously funny when you're in the gym, you know, with your camera. So I have to be careful as well, not to you know uh, disturb other people's uh, peace. But I want to show you what's possible, guys. What what's actually really possible when you when you fast for five, six, seven, eight, or ten days, you can still do anything. You anything and everything. You work. To, you know, say for instance, it's seven days. I work every day, ten to twelve hours. Then to the gym, and in the morning, obviously, a nice run or a walk in the park. So that was pretty much a full-on schedule, guys with zero slowdown and zero resting and zero anything. I slept very well um, uh, most nights, one night was a little bit, but that sometimes happens, you know. Some, you know, some nights uh, come out of it. I measured obviously with my aura ring. I show you this beautiful little piece. That's an aura ring, a sleep tracker. So uh, obviously that is showing me how I sleep and my heart rate went down or oh, in the last couple of nights to 40 or 42. That's pretty awesome, guys. Huh? So you can see your, your body is, is, is doing the work. Cleaning, cleaning house, right? 
Uh, you obviously can reap the benefits of autophagy when your body starts eating old, rotten, sick, weak cells um, and use that for fuel obviously and of course when you do seven day fast you burn quite a bit of fat as well which is not bad we all want to be lean fucking machines right now guys i'm going to quickly i uh, went through all this stuff ah forgotten guys so actually i did a little dry fast every day so i made that water fast for myself a bit harder since water fasting is relatively easy guys so what i did is 22 hours every day i had a dry fast no water no food then i consumed my 1.5 liters of water in a time window of two hours so two hours i consume water which is usually after the gym after the sauna so i refilled um felt amazing so i had like every single day of those seven days i had a uh, a 22 hour dry fast as well except you know one was obviously 27 and uh, and then the other day was like 16 or 17 when I couldn't make it uh, in time to uh, you know with the gym and, and all this stuff it happens look this is there's no there's no real pressure you can do whatever you like I try to do a lot so I can I can show you guys everything is possible there is no downside obviously I saved a lot of time you know I saved I saved every day at least three hours because that's what we spend on eating and shopping preparing and cleaning up the dishes and all the stuff right so and of course digesting if you're tired after a big meal or the first 15 30 minutes as you know you feel like after when you come after a big lunch and back in the office you feel a bit sluggish and a bit tired so obviously that's all gone so i've worked i, I i've done i got a lot of work done right in those seven days a lot of thinking a lot of paperwork for my studies for my business um and uh yeah so that's pretty pretty much a uh, hundred uh, percent yes yes win-win situation guys and you obviously do something for your health because fasting is is proven an amazing healing process and is linked to longevity good health and all those things guys so now quickly let's touch on I've done all this, I've done all this, I feel amazing, I slept well. Ah, something you want to know. I know it, but it doesn't really matter, guys. I lost a kilo, approximately a kilo a day. So I, I lost seven kilos in those seven days. I look a little bit skinny because I, I always, I'm always, you know, walk around lean and fit. So obviously when a lean, fit person is going on a seven day or longer fast, you kind of, you know, you shrink down a bit. You uh, lose a bit of fat, a bit of, uh, bit of water, of course, and a bit of muscle, I would say. Uh, you know, any fast goes probably beyond uh, three, four days, we, we lose a bit of muscle as well. But now, guys, it is pretty much almost time to eat. And what I want to show you guys, what I want to show you guys is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have my first meal, my first, the first part of my, of my, oh man, of my, oh man, my one meal a day to break my fast after seven days water fasting. It's going to be all these guys, melon, papaya, grapes, bananas, grapefruit, apples, uh, what is it there, mandarins, kiwi, strawberries. Can you see that guys? That is so yummy, so juicy, so beautiful, sweet and healthy guys healthy now the second part if i still can fit something in my tummy because then after seven days my tummy got a bit smaller if i still can fit something in maybe an hour later i'm gonna have some veggies some broccoli some cauliflower some mushrooms everything is already like waiting for me to you know to get it done just quickly have to prepare uh my first uh part of my omelet meal and then of course usually i have a big plate of veggies and maybe some nuts after that if I still can fit something again. Maybe nuts I might be careful because if you haven't eaten for seven days, nuts might be a bit heavy. So be always careful how you break your fast, guys. And because, uh, you know, how we break our fast is almost more important than the whole fast, people say. So I'm always keen to eat then, so I have to slow down. I'm gonna have a really long time now. I'm probably gonna eat for three hours now, bit by bit, a little bit rest, a bit more, right? Because I love eating, guys. But I love fasting too, so I do it both. I combine it like nothing else. Now, guys, 
else? What else is to say? I touched on sleep, on my weight, uh, how I went, I had a full energy, I felt good all the time. Man, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I, I might have forgotten something. feels like I've forgotten something, but... Um, now, I think it's done, guys. Now, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, for tuning in, for supporting me on all my healthy adventures I undertake. You know, I go and actually want to show you guys the light. I know I've forgotten. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know what it is? The disclaimer, guys. Now, I do want you to be super careful. Yeah? Maybe if you ever want to uh, undertake a fast, start with like 12 hours, 24 hours, sometimes that, all right? Water fast, actually can't, nothing can much happen. When I did the dry fast, obviously I always encourage you to be super careful. And here is the same. You know, always consult your health professional, uh, you know, talk to your doctor if you have any, any, you know, any doubts, any, you know, anything you don't feeling so good about it. Do some reading, your research, everything is now on our computers. Everything is online, everything you can Google, um, information, data, research. So please be super careful. But of course, that's why it's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm doing this documentary for you. It would be awesome if you if you dig your way in and do a bit of fasting. You know, one day or two days, seven days might be a stretch for most people already. And uh, dry fasting, obviously, which is a lot harder, I would say, you know, easier way and even more careful, very, very careful. You have you have to be uh, with your, you know, with your health and uh, working. But as you can see now, I, I did a seven day fast. I worked full power, 10 to 12 hours a day. I went to the gym. I had a walk or run in the morning. So that's two workouts a day. And I got a lot of work done, guys. So it, you know, as I said, be careful, do your research, have a lot of, you know, thinking, deep thinking about it. Um, and uh, yeah, what can I say, guys, as I said, Thank you so so much. Thank you so 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 much for tuning in for watching this for supporting me uh, Please like subscribe and share because if we can share the love It's double the love. Thank you so so much guys I see you soon yeah!